You have a question regarding the murder of the Anthro leaders? It was very obviously us. Stop! You violated the law. <laughs> yeah, we just killed them. How'd you hear of it before? <laughs> we, <laughs> we literally uh... just walked down from murdering them. <laughs> um, <laughs> do you want to lie or cop to it? Uh... Well, we have been shown to murder our childhood families before, so, uh, what, what do you want to do? I don't know. I don't know, what do you want to do today? Cause I'm kind of... Let's bullshit away there, let's say we're innocent. I'm innocent. <laughs> Even though we obviously did it. <laughs> also, I don't know how he heard of this, just before, like, their screams even reached, like, the lower halls. Let's see. In front of, like, eight witnesses? Yeah, I don't. How did the? They, yeah, but the word spread like super fast. <laughs> I'm not be judged at all. Draw your weapons. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we should come quietly and try to. Yeah, we'll come quietly. Just don't take our shit. If you do that, then well, I'm gonna fireball the entire like, establishment. Oh, you know, I'm sure this mess will be cleared up soon. I can't. Can you believe that they think that you murdered someone in cold blood in front of a room full of witnesses? <laughs> yeah, let alone four people, and then pick their corpses clean of items that we're currently carrying. <laughs> oh, this guy's this guy's all By defiling his home saucy. to a piece that has lasted for centuries. Oh, he spits on me and all our friends. Oh, uh, uh, we've done nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we've done nothing wrong. You were seen fleeing the murder scene. You were seen causing the murder scene. Oh, fuck, dude. Covarious got us, dude. Ah, so we gotta kill him. He tricked us into wearing that ring. Ah, interesting. He thinks we're Amish assassins. Omnian. Well Whatever. then, perhaps they shouldn't have locked us in a cage with all of our shit. And bless the active. Yeah, I know, and... right? <laughs> <laughs> nice. This guy thinks we're yeah. Well, he's he's right. We would, we're we're angels. We wouldn't do anything. We were like fucking that. innocent, dude. We didn't Actually, just guys... also come from Baldur's Gate and nuked a room full of peasants. <laughs> Look, is it our fault that those guys fell down a flight of swords? <laughs> I like how we could just be like, actually, I did kill them. <laughs> Do you know anyone by the name Covarus? Let me see what this guy's up to. Saravak! Uh, what? I like how he just immediately flipped his name around. So... Because <laughs> he was like, okay, well, I'm not going to give you any hints. This is the GF just being like, you're too stupid to figure this out, so... Alright, uh, are we ready to do it? Hell yeah, let's go kill Saravok. We've been waiting to kill him for a while. Plus, we don't really have much else to do in this. Nice. There's oh, scrolls sweet. in the, uh... Summon Monster 2, Globe of Invulnerability, 2 identifies and a fireball. Shadow Door? What the fuck is that? Shadow Door is a sweet instant invisibility spell. Level 5. Oh, nice. Yeah, Shadow Door is pretty gangster as a uh, panic button because it, um... It's not like... You don't get improved invisibility, but it's nearly instant cast uh -huh. speed. And you go regular invisible for, like, a decent amount of time. So you can, you can cast Shadow Door and run away from a fighter or whatever. So we have two doors. Oh, one door. Star leads back to the upper levels. All right, let's check. Is that? Ooh, this check is a big old area. Absolutely, I'm gonna have Chuck do the same. Just further back. You stole my book, <laughs> you cur. <laughs> She's what? a snake. She's about to turn into a snake, isn't she? No, she looks gonna turn into a fucking doppelganger. Yeah, I called it. I think everybody's a doppelganger. These guys are super easy, right? Um, yes. I don't know. Yes, they're easy, but I seem to recall occasionally they could be a little jerk. No, the greater ones are the ones that suck. 
Well, they don't really suck. They're just irritating. I don't think this area is trapped. Uh, uh, it is. <laughs> it definitely is. It's fucking wishful thinking. God damn it. Yeah, even Chuck took that like a boss. It's just a magic missile. And usually everything kills him. <laughs> Ooh, triple traps. I'm assuming they would trap that, yeah. Okay, a bunch of magic shit in there, including a magic tome. Very out. <laughs> so, <laughs> Russians are Romulans. It's true. <laughs> oh shit, it's a tome of understanding. What's uh, that give? Wisdom plus oh, one. Okay. Pass that shit to the motherfucking priest. Uh, that's Faustus, right? Mm. Uh, Harbinger. Okay, there you go. Oh my Let's god, it's this... gonna give me 20 wisdom. And then this, uh, the other ring is ba Batalista's Passport, which is a ring of fire resistance, which gives you 40% fire resistance. Dude, that gave me a extra spells. So ring I... of fire Do... resistance, you said? Yeah, you mind if I toss that to Deathbeard? He's not wearing totally. any rings. Totally fine with that. Yes, now Deathbeard becomes more bullshit. And then protection from acid is the scroll. A little specific. What does acid damage? Slimes? Yeah, an acid arrow. I don't know what else. Wisdom has been raised by one permanently, so what are you sitting at now? 20. Nice. I know. I think we found two wisdom bo books in this playthrough. Whoa! Ah. <laughs> that was almost bad. I'm gonna go check what's in this chamber we passed by. This uh, looks pretty trapped, is my guess. You guessed correctly. Just potions, protection scroll, and a generic necklace if you want to grab that. I should, I've yet to come into anything that I actually need to use potion of master thievery for. I wonder if that stacks. Cause if it does, I could just steal from vendors. Now what? <clears throat> I remember as a gimmick, I used to make one thief in my party who just did nothing but pick pockets constantly. <laughs> And, like, uh, just so that he could steal from vendors. Because you have the option, it's just really difficult. And then I would just steal all the best items at the game. <laughs> Unfortunately, in order to do that, you pretty much have to dump all your points into, like, pickpockets. Which is not very practical for areas where you need trap find and shit. Alright, watch out, I'm gonna try opening this. I didn't detect any traps. There's nothing in it. Fuck. <laughs> oh, sweet. Mm. It's coming to us. Alright. Uh -huh. Spit it out. Hey, there's another one. <clears> hmm, <throat> more spiders. Back off. You right. I think they're gonna teleport before you can get that fireball off. Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, there's one right there. But perhaps there's more waiting that'll hit it with. <laughs> wow, we can officially just get face spiders. <laughs> How much more XP death be at 224? This looks also trapped somehow, despite it with the spiders being in the air.
Hmm. Another magic tome and a cloak. Wonder what the tome is this time. Rogue's Strength. down. I'm ta taking that. Dex. Let's see. Manual. Manual of gainful exercise. This gives you a strict regimen of routine daily stretches that somehow can be used instantaneously because it's a video <laughs> game. Strength Listen. raised by one permanently. Well, you know who's got to get that. <laughs> hey, Deathbeard, you want to get more what's broken? His, what's his strength going to be at? Let's Nine, find out. 19 strength. How do I use it? Just put it in your quick slot like a potion. Uh. <clears throat> Deathbeard. Do some exercises. Alright, he's oh. strength 19. See, this is why, this is the one reason why it's good to play Baldur's Gate before Baldur's Gate 2. Because there's no manual items in um, Baldur's Gate 2. Oh, let's see what that cloak's about. Oh, I need to rest so I can get an identify back. Alright, you can just rest right now. Sure. Wait, let me heal first. Alright, let's do it. You close your eyes tonight and Ooh, creepy dream way into your dreams. With a flash of memory, you are a runt of a child once more. Gorion dragging you through the gates of the Citadel. Aged as he ever was, you still have to run to keep up with him. He has an important meeting with Ulrunt, the keeper of the tomes. An important meeting about you. Funny, you don't remember it. As you stand outside the doors of the inner keep, you can hear the shouting from within. Gorion is uncharacteristically loud and seems quite irate. You don't know why he bothers, really. No one seems to want the two of you around. As you trace patterns in the water of a fountain, a reflection distracts you from the argument. A large raven has perched atop a stone wall and stares directly at you with huge black eyes. You stare back through the mirror of the water and are suddenly afraid to meet the bird's gaze any other way. It has claws for feet. You think to yourself, little skeletal claws. The doors of the keep suddenly swing open and Ulrunt storms out. He glances at you for a moment, but looks away as he speaks. You both can stay, he sneers. But mark my words, that child will be the death of you. A flash of memory once more, and Gorion walks out of the keep as he is today, dead. You drop your gaze back to the water so as not to see. The raven is gone. Cool, you got a new special ability. Remains. Your eyes are black, like those of a bird. Like father, like child, the reflection says. You wake with a yell, predictably unrested. All right, let's see what I got. Um, looks like vampiric touch. Vampiric touch, nice. Well oh, then, the let's, I, <laughs> let's try it's time to identify. The spirit's shield, plus two. It's plus two cloak. Uh, protection? Uh, yeah. Plus two armor class, plus two saving throws. <laughs> Give it to Deathbeard. <laughs> oh lord. Let's see if we can get him to negative eight before Baldur's Gate 2. Well, Done. no, wait, let's... <laughs> Yeah, and then, um, I guess, who's gonna, let's see. Can I give it to Chuck? Chuck? Chuck's got a ring. He's got a ring of princes. Uh. I don't think the Harbinger can wear it because he's got magic. He's got practical defense plus three, which well, counts. I'll toss it to him just to see. Um. Oh, wait, that's Faustus. I accidentally threw it too. New no, and... I cannot wear it on the thief. Yeah, I've got two, everybody's got protection bonuses. I think so. I think we're probably gonna sell that. Okay. Well, cool. Got a strength point. Got a nice cloak. It was a good cloak. Guest. Old friend, the guest. Haven't seen one of you in about a session. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of guests in this fucking game. Hey, let's get them. <clears throat> 
I'm gonna use a oh, spell fuck. on this guy because they can be little assholes. I fucked that up. Or maybe it's Greater Ghouls, the Greater Ghouls in Durlag's Tower. I'm thinking of that suck. Well, in any case, he leveled up. Yeah, Deathbeard. Level up. Back over reduced by one, gain 17 hit points, and lore increased by one. What does Deathbeard know about lore? His lore is not bad, actually. I think Duff and Baroness have the highest lore. But, uh... <laughs> Deathbeard's got the third highest. His thack is six now as well. He's very knowledgeable. <laughs> gentleman. Never His used that knowledge six. for anything, yeah. That's sick. <laughs> see if we get it to V5. Oh, there's another ghasty boy. I'm just gonna get him. Yep. <clears throat> Disease. Kind of wish we had nauseated sometimes. Yeah, you just your stomach hurts. Oh wait, hold on. What am I doing? Give me a second. You know what I'm about to do. Mm -hmm. I'll have to tell you. All right, there you go. Do it. Nice. <laughs> uh. Magic hammer in here. In a oh, wand! Nice. A wand of fireball. Excellent! The game knows exactly what to give me. Alright, and then I think before we do the next area transition, we should uh, save in quick, so I gotta go to work. Alright. <laughs> Warhammer plus one, and obviously a wand of fire. Um, I already have Warhammer plus one kneecapper. So, that Warhammer plus one can get sold. Okay. Alright, let's go back here and save. Oh, looks like that's it. Well, we'll go back to... Um, we're, we'll go to where the screen transition is, and then uh, if you could throw out some heals, we'll rest and save, and then... Okay. Dunzo. The deaf can get unnauseated. Chuck's just gonna lay hands on himself. Yo, he doesn't have to. Never mind. Damn, man, my cleric's got so many spells. It's a far cry from the beginning of the game. <clears throat> yeah. Well, this is like one spell. That's it for the day. You know, Icewind Dale is pretty fun, but I really like the extended feeling of progression that you get from Baldur's Gate. Yeah. Okay. We're good to go. Oh, we're gassed. All right, shall we try again? <laughs> there we go. Great. It's saved that shit. Saving time. All right, we're saved. <sighs> Fantastic. Uh, that's it then? Mm-hmm. All right, dude. Well, that was fun. Yeah, uh, we'll see you later. See you later, bro.